Hi everyone, welcome back to Chill Vibes Only, CBO Wellness. My name is Allie and today I'm going to be reviewing the Leo Dot. So the Leo Dot is a vibrator that was sent to me by the company Leo and wanted me to share my thoughts and opinions with you guys on it in case you're in the market for buying a vibrator and you want to find out if this will be a good fit for you. So I'm going to do my best to explain to you my experience with it and what I thought um, so you can help make a decision about what type of vibrator you want to buy. So the Leo Dot is definitely something I would recommend to someone who has already used a vibrator before and they kind of understand their body and what sensations they like. The whole point of this vibrator is that it has this tiny little tip here that moves in a infinity loop. So when it's turned on and vibrating, the little tip is going to move in this infinity loop. You can barely tell because it's going so fast and then of course you can always increase the intensity of it or decrease the intensity and it has different settings as well. So there's like a pulsing setting, murmur settings, um, so lots of different things that you can do with this toy. I personally enjoy just having it on the normal vibrating setting and turning up the intensity and then using this on my clit and around my clit to pinpoint for satisfaction. So some information about the toy, it comes in discrete packaging just like all of the other Leo toys. They give you a little carrying pouch to store it in and also one of their um, personal moisturizers. So this is a water-based formula so you can use it with all of their toys because they are high-grade silicone um, and body safe which is awesome. They're also waterproof. This one has eight settings and it's a two hour charge time. One thing I will note is it doesn't come charged. So don't worry if you get it and you can't turn it on right away, just plug it in and charge it and then it lasts for up to two hours. You can use this toy by yourself or with a partner. Because the tip is so concentrated, it really gives you the option to kind of explore and play around your clit. So you can like move the tip over it. You can also place the side of the vibrator on different parts of your clit. And you can use this in other places too, right? So you can kind of like run it up your leg or your arm or around your nipples, anywhere around like any erogenous zones. It's definitely something you can get creative with and play around with. When I first tried this, it took like a little bit of getting used to, but then it quickly became one of my favorite toys to play around with just because you can pinpoint exact spots. So I found like you can really get curious with your body and get curious with your vulva to see where you like to have certain pleasure, like maybe it's on the left side or the right side or up a bit or down a bit. And using this toy with a partner is a lot of fun because I always talk about how communication with your partner during sex is so important. And if your partner is using this toy, I mean, like, they can really see where in your vulva you experience the most pleasure, like where are the zones where you get closest to climax and orgasm. I definitely take me a little bit to learn how to orgasm with this toy, but it did happen. They do market it as like multiple orgasms. That didn't happen for me. I was just one orgasm with it. But I think the whole point of this toy is to really like get experimental and explore in your body and find out new places where you find pleasure, which is a lot of fun. It's waterproof, uh, so you could take it in the tub with you or in the shower. I personally though like to just use this like when I'm lying down in bed or when I'm experimenting with maybe slow sex with my partner. Because it's not a big vibrating head, you really do have to kind of like get creative with it and explore your body. But I will say for someone who finds like say the Monoflex that has the big head so it would look like this and fully vibrate, if you feel like that kind of gets too much sensation or you feel like it's overpowering, the dot is a really great alternative for you because you can actually pinpoint what's going to feel good and you're not vibrating and providing sensation to the entire clit, you're kind of pinpointing and choosing what's going to feel good. Also this toy is quite quiet, um, so it's definitely the quietest out of the three that I tried which was the Aura and the Lily. You know, I don't think you should have to worry about people hearing your vibrator, but if it is something that you feel like you want to keep quiet or you know you don't want to disturb people, this one definitely is the um, quietest out of all the three that I tried. Of course, as you increase the intensity, you are gonna hear a little bit more of the motor. Um, but yeah, it's not that big of a deal. 
So yeah, I would recommend this to anybody who's tried a couple sex toys before and understands as well if you like a vibration versus suction. This is an external vibrator, not internal. So it's really just meant to be used on the clit and other erogenous zones on the body. I think they're also beautiful toys and they're easy to hold and like maneuver. I didn't find like my hand got tired or anything because of this little hole here. It's really easy to use. So yeah, if you're looking for a new fun toy to add to your repertoire, I definitely recommend the Leo Dot. It's currently $179 Canadian, so it's definitely a bit more than, say, the Lily 3 by Leo, which I have a review for as well, so definitely check that out. It is a more expensive purchase, I think, if you're someone who really likes to try out different sex toys and you like to prioritize self-pleasure, it's definitely one to give a go. I personally really like it, and I'll be using it going forward a lot. But yeah, definitely something that's more of like a fun thing to have if you want to treat yourself uh, or introduce a new toy with you and your partner. And yeah, so if you're interested, I'll leave the link down below for you to check it out. Um, and if you have any questions, just feel free to comment down below or DM me at CBO Wellness. I'm always happy to answer any questions you guys have or talk about anything sex related or relationship advice. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Please give it a big thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe because that really helps the channel and I'll see you for another video shortly.